All right, folks, we are going to do a video or a how-to video on uh, modding the DJI 04 lens. Um, as you all know, for those who fly with this, the field of view on it is quite narrow. Uh, I have to admit, I'm used to it, or kind of used to it anyways. The uh, HD0 um, nano light camera has a pretty narrow field of view on that and I fly that quite often so this didn't really bother me at all but I still did a modded one anyways because I like to do a lot of uh, tight proximity flying and the uh, wider field of view definitely helps with uh, being able to see all the things at once uh, so what's needed then obviously we need an 04 air unit uh, Exacto knife or a hobby knife. Uh, T7000 glue or equivalent. I like this because it has a very th thin tip applicator on there. Helps a lot when you glue it back on. Uh, the 3D printed mounts, or not 3D, uh, 3D printed lens mounts, uh, which is in here. I can't show you that right now, but I will link that in the description below. And of course, the thing that a lot of people are asking me for, uh, what lens am I using? It is a, well, this is the SKU number for it, but it is actually a lens for a uh, Lux or Nano V3 lens for HD0. So it turns out uh, I had to modify the lens mounts accommodate this diameter i think that it's a uh, m7 or to be exact m6.8 because it was slightly smaller um, and uh, made it fit and turns out that the clarity on it is very nice uh field of view is also quite good distortion may be distracting to some people but uh, i i i found it okay um but yeah this is this is the secret that a lot of people, a lot of people are wondering about. So it is a Lux Nano V3 for, for HD zero lens that I made it fit on this. So how do we get, I'm not going to do it with this one because, uh, I only needed, wanted it for one, one camera. I'll just kind of go quick, quick overview of how, uh, to, Take this off uh, and tips on how not to just damage it. I, I pretty much actually almost did damage one of the sensors on it, but uh, it turned out to be uh, dodged a bullet and didn't really damage it. Um, there were some uh, videos out there that suggested that for the if you have a reflow station to set it to 100 degrees Celsius, that was not hot enough. I think I bumped it up to like 180 or 200. Celsius and just be sure to you know put some sort of a tape on top of the lens uh, I mean not that you're gonna use it but uh, just in case you what you do you want to put it back so take the heat gun or reflow station and heat around here and you want to use an exacto knife after heating it to graze the edge here let me see if I can zoom it in so right here, that is what you need to run your X-Acto knife or hobby knife through. Biggest, 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 biggest tip I can suggest is holding it probably like this and going top down a few times until you get through. It's not too deep. I think it's about that deep in, if that's a good good way of gauging. Um, I made a mistake of going like this and I ended up going through and grazing the sensor and uh, you can actually see it scuffed on the sensor but thankfully it, it didn't show when I was uh, during, during, during usage or during flying. So uh, biggest tip I can give you, top down, keep going, keep going, keep going and then you'll eventually go through, heat once in a while and this pop will eventually pop up 
the mounts, obviously you will need this glue around the edge or put glue around the edge and smack dab in the lens mount. And then uh, the mount I use is a TPU print. Uh, reason for that is so I can easily switch between different lenses. So I've tried a, a bunch of variety of lenses. You know, the um, uh, lens for the Nano V2, that one was a little, pur little purplish. The Caddx Ant lens, that too was a little purplish. I mean, you've seen the sample video of this, there was really no purple hue on that one. So that's why I liked this a lot. Uh, there were even like glass ones that I use. Uh, one for a, I think with a uh, toothless from Fox here, that one was big glass lens and they still gave a purple hue. So anyways, uh, with that TPU lens mount, I was able to interchange until I found one, found one I liked. Um, problem with that though is it was very hard to center. So if you can see in the video on uh, that I posted before, that the right corner here was or right edge was kind of blurry. I did manage to center it, but even though now this side is clear and the left side was clear, the top side was somewhat blurry. So uh, very hard to get it completely. Uh, sharp on all edges of the screen, but you know The extra field of view I guess makes it more worth it um, Benefits though of having the Lens on I was able to repurpose. I don't know if anyone recognized this is a Caddx uh, Turtle v2 ND filter uh, Printed kind of a little donut that slipped over the Lux Nano V3 lens and then was able to then slip this all on top. So I have an ND8 and ND16 filter that I can switch interchangeably. Uh, haven't used it enough to, to know how if it's secure enough. I mean, I, w I wouldn't be doing this type of freestyle with the indie filter on here anyways. It's more for like cinema, cinematic or cinema whoop type flying. So anyways, uh, I hope uh, that information is of help to anyone who's curious to know how I got or what lens I use for my DG, DJI 04 air units uh, to give it that extra, extra field of view. Ooh. Last thing too, and I'll, uh, I'll put it on the corner somewhere. Gyro flow settings. It, I, I was flipping through all the GoPro uh, settings on there and then I'll post it on here. I kind of can't remember which one it was for. I think it was for a GoPro 12 uh, lens profile that was made by Damien. But again, I'll, I'll put it on here somewhere on what that gyro flow is. Uh, lens profile I used there. And then that helped deal with the uh, lens distortion and a nice wide uh, linear look. So, okay. Any, anyways, um, hope that was helpful. Uh, any questions or comments, uh, just type, send a comment down below, uh, like, subscribe, follow. That helps me keep motivated to make these types of videos. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy flying, folks. Talk to you soon.